Hey folks, welcome to Transplant Helper today. My name is Jim Merle. As you can see in this episode, I'm certainly not in my typical environment. As a matter of fact, I've been put in the hospital. I came down with some kind of a stomach bug yesterday, just all out at one, all at once, all out of the blue. And uh, so came to the emergency room, was brought in really quickly. Uh, King's treatment on all that. Finally moved upstairs to a cardiac unit. Uh, no cardiac problems going on, but nonetheless, they're treating me right now as if I have C. diff. And if you don't know what C. diff is, it's probably the worst of the worst as far as gastro problems can be, as far as difficulty to get over. And uh, yeah, it's just no fun. But anyway, that may be what I have. But I did want to pause to kind of kind of make a point about something that I think we all know, something I've taught about before. But that is, whenever you're in the hospital, always be compliant. Whatever it is your doctors are asking you to do, um, even if it sometimes doesn't make sense, you need to be compliant. But at the same time, it's very, very important that you know your body. And I mean by that, that you know your body. You know what you can tolerate. You know what medications uh, do the best. And don't be afraid to stand up and make a few suggestions if you need be. Let me give you a couple of examples of that. I come in yesterday with severe diarrhea, uh, some nausea, a little bit of vomiting, but by say two o'clock or so, there was no signs of the nausea, it was gone. Well, it was about that time that they came in and said, hey, we're gonna go ahead and give you some Zofran to help you with your nausea, and uh, you can take it, and that, that may start you on the road to being straightened out again. At that point, not knowing what was going on, just kind of treat me in general. Well. The bad thing is, I know about my body, maybe not yours, but I know about my body, if I take Zofrin, two things happen. Number one, Zofrin makes me throw up. So I'm not even nauseated at that point, and if I take Zofrin, I'm going to throw up. Uh, not necessarily if it's put in through the IV very slowly, but if I put it in too quick, I'm going to get sick, period. No doubt about it. So I didn't want it because of that. And in addition to that, being that I wasn't currently nauseated, I really didn't want it because Zofrin uh, kind of knocks me out. Generally, I'll be out for 10, 12 hours, um, not unconscious, but you know, sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. And at that point, I was kind of hoping to get straight and not go home. So I didn't want it. I just didn't want to feel drugged out for that long. So I went ahead and just turned down the Zofrin. Uh, fast forward till this morning, they come in and they say, Jim, your mag level, magnesium level's very low, which mine runs low all the time. Many of yours does the same, I know. Um, they come in and said, your magnesium level's low. Well, I take the maximum dose of magnesium possible orally every day. I take 1,200 milligrams three times a day. They say they can't give me any more than that, and it still stays on the low side. So that's pretty much just knowing my body. My body's going to run low mag. Now, I do have some side effects from that. Sometimes low mag can cause me to have migraines. There's a lot that goes with that that I won't even talk about, but nonetheless, I know it's low. So they come in this morning, so we're going to add a magnesium drip, which is actually running right now over here um, into this IV. But they said, we're going to add a magnesium drip to you and uh, run it over an hour. Well, because I know my body, I've been there, done that. I said, no, I can't let you run it over an hour. I need it over two or three hours. And that's because if they run it over an hour, um, it's going to cause me to have terrible, terrible hot flashes. Um, when that has happened in the past, without me understanding what was going on, uh, almost the feeling, just to be honest with you, I just almost want to strip my clothes off and run up down the hall, you know, uh, run around in my underwear, but I'm not going to do that. So just slow it down, run it over two to three hours instead of the one. Same thing goes sometimes for potassium or uh, sodium, if they ever have to come in and give you sodium. What I'm telling you is, you need to get to know your body, you need to get to know the treatments, the medications that they may be offering you, and then you can in turn use that to your advantage. Again, not being kind about it, being respectful, but asking them, can you cooperate with what my body needs? And I think 99.9% .9 of the time, the transplant teams, they know you pretty well too, and they're going to cooperate and you're going to have much success. Anyway, I, I would ask that you pray for me. I uh, don't know for sure if this is going to be CDF or whatever, but whatever it is, it, it's knocked me in the dirt. And so the only, I guess you'd say, transplant helper programs you might get now is going to be sitting right here until I get out. And uh, I don't want to be away from home. 
we're a couple of days from Thanksgiving. Actually, it's Thanksgiving it's tomorrow, I guess. And things aren't looking good for me being home. So pray that I'll get straight and not get home. But until next time, you all need to stay stronger, friends.